Hey everybody, Tony D. Little Joan is asleep in the other room, and I'm going to do a screenwriter's rant for the last video of the night. Um, it's uh, called Last Night in Soho. It's an Edgar Wright movie, the latest from Edgar Wright. So let's get into it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Uh, Woke a Santa novel, Holly Woke, another novel, political satire, and of course the Pineys books one through six. All of them are Amazon.com. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Kindle Unlimited. If you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read them for free. And someone's reading Woke a Stand right now. I can see you. I can see my stats. So thank you for that. And of course, don't forget to read, uh, read, watch the other two videos on uh, BitChute and Rumble today. Uh, we got a uh, blast about uh, the headlines and some stuff. Uh, some updates on some other stuff that I did. Now, last night in Soho, this is kind of a, it is kind of a Twilight Zone episode in that the premise of the movie is this girl goes to New York. I assume she's going to college because she's kind of young. And um, she starts having dreams about New York of the past. And she keeps waking up in old New York, like, uh, you know, when Sean Connery was in Thunderball, which I guess would have been the 60s, early 70s uh, at the latest. Uh, looks like early 60s, early 60s, I think. Um, and she is living the life of a hot blonde girl from that time, uh, this girl here, who I think was murdered. And so she sort of keeps having these dreams, and then she... She's going to design school, and she begins to see her and draw her. Um, this guy looks familiar. Is that is that one of the guys who used to play Doctor Who? It's an English guy. I forget his name. Anyhow, uh, she dyes her hair blonde like the girl, and you know starts to think more and more about her. And then uh, she apparently transforms back and forth between times according to when she's asleep, but. You know, it just gets worse and worse as the movie progresses. And I guess at some point she's trapped in the past. And then, you know, the blonde woman's going to be murdered. Or maybe she changes the past. I don't know. This was probably based on an older story, I'm guessing. Uh, but it's called Last Night in Soho. Normally I'd say, ah, this is this is another Twilight zone type movie. And it kind of is. But it is Edgar Wright. It's a story by Edgar Screenplay by him and Christy Wilson Karins, Karins, Karen, Kearns, uh, and directed by Edgar White. And I gotta say, Edgar's a good director. I mean, he's 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 done some really good movies. You know, not all of them are uniformly great, but um, you're gonna get something with Edgar. You know, it's like watching any other film by, you know, any of the other currently good directors we have. Uh, I would compare this guy to. You know, uh, oh God, not the Coen brothers, but uh, uh, Wes Anderson. I would compare him kind of like that, although he's got more of a sense of humor. You know, I didn't really like Scott Pilgrim Saves the World. I like parts of it, but, um, you know, he's got a good, fun, entertaining way about him. And now that he's sort of established, he can kind of do projects he wants to do. This feels like a project he would want to do. Uh, you know, a, a lot of times these guys, they get obsessed with a particular time period and they would like to redo something in it. So this looks cool. It's a, it seems to be like a horror movie, um, combined with, like I said, some kind of Twilight zone type episode, um, with these two women or two characters, or is this the same actress just in different makeup? I can't really tell. So, um... But again, I mean, it feels like a Twilight Zone episode, right? Something you could wrap up in an hour. With Edgar at the helm, I would give him that opportunity to entertain you. I would also probably want to see a few reviews of the movie to make sure it wasn't totally awful. Um, but uh, I would, if I had to trust a director, Ed, Edgar would be on my list of directors I can trust to at least try to give me something entertaining, even if it fails. I'm sure this movie will be pretty good. So the first act would be, oh, she's this girl from the country, uh, you know, back here, she's on a train, 
yeah, riding the country and going to the big city. And then she gets to New York and then she starts having these dreams in the second act, right? So the first act, she's just normal kid going to college in the big city, not really fitting in. Second act, she starts having these dreams about old New York and realizes as she has more and more of these dreams, uh, they're a little more real, right? So there's a scene where the blonde girl's making out with a guy and here she is with a hickey. And one of her friends probably points that out and goes, hey, who were you with last night? Next thing you know, she dyes her hair blonde and she's sort of becoming the other girl. And uh, the line between reality, you know, her present and, and, and the past she keeps dreaming starts to blur until finally she's in actual danger from perhaps the guy, you know, this guy, but only now he's older. Um, who knows? We don't know. But maybe she's going to expose the true killer. Maybe it's the ghost that's driving her. But uh, it sounds interesting. Sounds like, look, again, it sounds like a Twilight Zone episode. It'd probably be a tight hour. But I would give Edgar a chance because he is a good director. He would know how to how to fill it up. And, uh, uh, and it would be entertaining. So last night in Soho, I'm not sure when it comes out. Did it? Do we have a date on it? Yes, in theaters in October. That's a good time. Good time to release a scary movie with ghosts and supernatural stuff. Yes, good time. I don't I don't know why they don't release more movies during that time like this, but this seems like a, a solid entry. Yeah, I, I, I might go see this. You know, again, I'd wait for a review or two just to make sure it's not a total disaster, but with Edgar... I think you're in good hands. And that's it for me. Uh, on behalf of Joan and I, we'll see you tomorrow.